Oh my god, it's story time with Tom Berry. Why am I being stupid? Anyway, welcome back to Bleach Brave Souls. It is the return of the story events. I know a lot of you are very happy to see this back. So uh, without further ado, let's do it. So we've got Once Upon a Time in the Sayrete, Young Bjarkis Field Trip is now available. <clears throat> a few hundred years ago, this is the story of the youthful days of a soul reaper who is now a prestigious captain in the Soul Society. So this goes from the 24th of October to the 31st. So that's the uh, that's the double chance day. Still uh, still very uh, keen to see what's going to drop on that day. But anyway, this is a lottery event. So each time you clear a quest, you'll get one spin. Uh, there's a chance to get four star Jashiro passed. Uh, regardless of the difficulty, uh, enemies may, may drop three star Jashiro, three star Yoruichi, three star Byakuya, or accessories. So this is a great event for stocking up on Ascension fodder. No limit to number of cap. You're going to get the gist of it. Event orders. So uh, we'll look at the event orders after we do the uh, story, as usual. Uh, so there's the uh, four star Jushiro. Ah, so the reward lottery. So we can get a four star Jushiro pass version. Uh, premium summer tickets of two, premium accessory tickets of three, three soul tickets, coins of up to 15k, two star power heart, and a three star power heart, medium XP crystals of 10, uh, small crystals of a random attribute 40, medium of 10, and large of two. And the same thing applies to jewels. All right, let's do it. What? Don't miss your free stamina. I already picked up my free stamina. That's another game I'm playing. I should really turn off those notifications. <laughs> okay, chapter one, Ginray's arrangement. As usual, Byakuya is devoting himself to training hard. His grandfather Ginray asks a certain man to do him a favor for Byakuya's benefit. A few hundred years ago. This is the story of the youthful days of a soul reaper who is now a prestigious captain of the soul society and why am I talking like this? Ha! Yeah. I see your training hard as always, Byakuya. Grandfather, you're home early today. Is something the matter? <laughs> well, I've brought back an interesting proposal for you. It's called Bacon from the World of the Living. What could it possibly be? There was someone who has agreed to give you a training session. Is this true? Indeed. I thought it would be helpful for you to train to someone new once in a while. I brought up this topic with him and he happily agreed to help. Thank you very much, Grandfather. Oh, you should thank him, not me. Uh, after all, I only brought bacon. Uh, now, are you ready to leave? And uh, We'll have some bacon on the way. Of course. Alright, so welcome back to the story events. For this one, we're going to be using the Halloween characters. Of course, you can't really, uh, you can't really see their true potential because, I mean, these, these story events are quite piss-fucking-easy now, are they? So, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed the little gameplay. Autoplay for the win. Hello. Hey there, welcome. Thank you very much for having me today. I look forward to your training. Oh, many thanks for allowing him, my grandson to train with you. Ah, the pleasure is mine. It's good for some of our squad members to train with someone new as well. Oh, thank you for your kindness. Uh, would you like some bacon? Oh, well, I must return to my duties. Uh, may I leave him in your care? Yes, of course. Ah, oh, thank you. And Byakia, do not cause too much trouble here. Otherwise, no bacon for you. I promise, Grandfather. Well, let's get started, shall we? Uh, yes, sir. Thank you. Byakuya, my boy. You really are here. What? Yoroichi Shion? Ah, I heard you were having a training session with Jishiro. So I thought I'd come by to check it out. Uh, see so you having fun? I was until you arrived. Oh, are you done with your training already? It seems like you have a long way until you can beat me then. I don't need any time to defeat you. I'll show you, right here, right now. Ha ha ha! I see you have bark, but still no bite. 
Now I'm not gonna make those sexual noises. Actually, no, I will. <laughs> Damn it, she got away. There's something for your soundboard. Tom Berry makes weird noises. <laughs> Fucking hell, that was that was chapter one on easy. Two drops and two accessory drops. That's actually pretty damn fucking good. Uh yeah, I guess I'll take it. That evil cat monster. I'll purge her the next time I see her. And then stroke her titties. Biakia, uh, would you like to rest for a bit? How about we have some tea alongside some bacon? Yes, please, thank you. Are you calmed down now? I, I just don't understand why Yuruichi Shion is a captain in the 13 court guard squads. She's always fooling around. Haha, <laughs> quite harsh, aren't you? There are many members in the 13 court guard squads, and as such, there are many unique individuals as well. But I think having, having many different personalities makes it fun to be with each other. Huh, you don't seem convinced. I'll have some more bacon then. I know. How about we go visit the other squads that you can take a look for yourself? May I? Well, yes, of course. Seeing is believing, as they say. I would love to go, but please. All right, I'll lead the way. Ah, oh, Yorichi, it's your turn. She just has to run in enemies. She doesn't even have to attack. Damn vortex. Who's this? This is Byaki Akuchiki. He's Captain Ginrei Kuchiki's grandson, excuse me. Byaki, this is Kensei Muguruma, uh, the captain of Squad 9. Ah, uh, nice to meet you, sir. Yeah. Uh, oh, by the way, one of your squad members was looking for you. Oh, I wonder if something happened. Captain Muguruma, can I ask you to watch over Byaki for a while? I was giving him a tour around the squad barracks, but if you could give him a sparring match, I'm sure he'd love that. Your fighting style is different from both Captain Kuchiki's and mine, so I'm sure we can learn something from it. Uh, sure, I don't have any work right now, so I don't mind doing it. Sorry about this, Ryakia. I'll take you to the other barracks once I'm back. Well, this isn't a good place for training, so let's head somewhere else with more space. Uh, yes, sir. Alright, shall we? Ready. That's the spirit. No need to hold back. Now take off your clothes. Thank you. I was able to learn a lot from your fighting style. Oh, you got some good talent in you. You can put your clothes back on now. Really? I, I mean, you still got a way to go, but yeah, keep up your training and don't get lazy. Uh, yes, sir. He's strong, kind, very dependable. This is what captains are supposed to be like. I knew it. The only weird one that isn't the cat monster. Kensei! 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 What is it? Calm down, will you? I can't find my snacks anywhere! What did you do with them? You ate them all, didn't you? Fat pig! How should I know? Why should I know where your snacks are all the time? Um... Excuse me, who is this lunatic? Ah, uh, she's my squad lieutenant. Little what? Titty jiggle. Oh, that was a shit run. Yep, that was a shit run. <laughs> hey, sorry to keep you waiting. Ha have some bacon. Uh, how was your training session with Captain Muguruma? 
it was a very meaningful one. However, the lieutenant I met afterwards was a bit, uh... Oh, you meant Lieutenant Kuna too. Ah, nice lady, isn't she? She can be a bit ratty at times, but she's a very skilled Soul Reaper. Skilled? Are you sure? Hey there, Jishiro. Ah, that Captain Kuchiki's grandson. Hello, sir. Good day to you. Uh, what are you doing here, if I may ask? I was giving Byakuya a tour around the Seireite. Oh yeah? Then maybe you want to visit our squad. We're in the middle of a full training, a squad training right now. Uh, you'll get to see what kind of training we do. Uh, thank you, sir. I would love to see it. Soifon, you're up. I got really, really lucky with uh, Soifon's uh, spiritual pressure accessories today. Um, let me tell you that story. So, I woke up pretty late, as usual, because I stay up all night. I woke up at about 11.30, I'm like, oh shit, I gotta get onto some uh, um, book grinding and shit. Uh, like, on the second run, two books dropped at the same fucking time, I'm like, okay, good start. I used both of those books. The first re-roll that I did on the Yuki, 30% fucking spiritual pressure, that's what I'm talking about. And then I decided to use a Pupples as a re-roll accessory, and I ended up getting 30% spiritual pressure on that, so I'm like, well shit, I'm gonna have to keep that now. <laughs> but I'd say, that was a really good start to the day. So at least I made some progress on uh, Soifon's accessories today. I still want 30% on a Captain Coat, which I've got 20 at the moment, and I still want... 30% on a Hujikuzai, which I have 6% at the moment, so I'm getting there, I'm slowly getting there. Slowly getting there. Huh. Interesting. So this is how Squad 8 does their training. Would you like to join them? You would allow me to? Well, you've come all the way here. I wouldn't mind giving you some experience. Then yes, it would be my honor. All right, I'll leave it to you, Lisa. I knew you'd make me do it, not that I mind. She may not look like it, but she's very strong. Lisa is my squad lieutenant, after all. Uh, thank you for the opportunity. I have a fetish with girls wearing glasses. Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. Flop. Oh, it looks like something fell. Hope it wasn't my penis. Oh, it's very small. Wh what's this? Oh my, Lisa, you shouldn't be bringing in stuff like that to training. I was planning to read it after we were done. You've got to be kidding me. Lol, Soyfone didn't even do any fucking thing. It was all Harley Bell. That's funny. Uh, uh, how dare you bring something to like that to a training session? What is wrong with you people? Snacks? Perverted books? You're supposed to be working. What are you even thinking? Calm down, Byakuya. Ha have some bacon. Now, you should have to understand that there are people like this. I mean, Lisa is a bit of a special case when she's very liable when I need her. I'm sure you're able to feel it yourself. She was strong, wasn't she? But, but it can't be. The 13 core guard squads aren't even supposed to be this. This. Oh, thank you for everything today. I will excuse myself now. Wait, Byakuya? Oh, Byakuya told me to take very care of him yesterday. I must thank you for that. Um, is he okay? I've been informed that he's focused on his training more than usual ever since he returned to the manor. Did something happen? I took him out to meet the other squads, but I think some of the people he met were a little too unique for him. I'm afraid we ruined his expectations of the 13 Gold Guard Swords. He might have gotten a little taste of the real world a bit too much on that field trip. I see. And I'm aware that he has a very serious personality. Too serious at times. Sometimes he refuses my bacon. I am hoping that he will learn, be able to learn more flexible and to be able to accept others. Ha! Ha! I can't. I can't just leave this be. I have to join the squads as soon as I can. I have to change them and make them worthy of the court guard name.
Fuck you. <laughs> and that... Shit, I wasn't meant to go back home. I think that's the end of the event. It's not. It is. It's just I haven't done the other difficulties yet. So, as always, let's have a look at the orders. Alrighty, so all difficulties down, we get one premium accessory ticket. Uh, chapter 3, very hard, times 5, a 2 star power heart. Times 10, 3 premium accessory tickets. Times 20, 3 star power heart. Uh, 30, a Brave Souls accessory ticket. And all orders down, 5 spirit orbs. So there we go, I hope you enjoyed the return of the story event. Thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time on Bleach Brave Souls. Until, have, until then, have fun, take care, and uh, don't overdose on the bacon. Mm, mm.